The next step is all these wires. I mean, what do they do? It's very simple. There's each one of them has written on the ends of them what they do. You can see this has got 1394 written on it. That's the number for the IEEE Firewire specification, so that's your Firewire. That just means that your front Firewire plug is connected to this. It doesn't go anywhere at the moment because your Firewire system itself is on the motherboard. So all we do is find that on the motherboard when we, when we install the motherboard into the case. Plug this into that. So that's your, um, come with your audio for the front. That, that includes your headphones, your microphone input, and external speaker output. The next thing is these these are your external device slots or racks. You can just slot in a hard drive in there and then you can lock it in. No tools, you don't need to have any screwdrivers or anything. You just put them in there, slide it across and lock it and your uh, device is in there. It's like CD-ROM drive, hard drive, floppy drive. That's the internal speaker cord. All these things have places to go on the motherboard. Now the other good thing about modern cases is they can accommodate lots of different types of motherboard. This case has a panel inside it with lots of different screw holes. Now this, this makes it easy to install lots of different types of motherboards. They use a type of screw that goes in to these panel holes, screw holes, and you configure them to suit your particular motherboard. They go right into the panel here, and they have a, a nut on each end of them. Now we're ready to put the motherboard in. Here she is. Be careful, I'm holding it from the heat sink. I've tucked these leads out of the way then. So what I do is I angle it in there. The trickiest part is to get the connections up here for your audio and networking and, and a couple of USB points. The trickiest thing is to get those to go into that plate that we put in. So to recap, we started with the empty case which has a plate inside it that can accommodate various motherboards. Now you would have already chosen your motherboard based on the CPU that you need to use and that, that's really a deciding factor. If you go Intel, you can't use a, a motherboard that's designed for an AMD CPU. You look for certain things that you would need on that motherboard, and they are things like, you may want extra um, PCI expansion slots, like here. So these, these slots here actually extend out through slots in the back, so you can have um, extra graphics cards. I'll show you how to put a graphics card in and I'll show you how to put an extra USB card in. But that's that just goes into the PCI expansion ports here. And also the motherboard comes with with mostly what you need. You don't need to buy a graphic card, a sound card or an extra USB 
PCI card anymore. The nearly every motherboard you can buy these days comes with um, Firewire, USBs, SATA hard drive um, interface. But this this one I'm going to show you how to put a we'll put a better graphics card. We'll put um, an extra we'll put our RAM and we'll put an extra uh, USB to show you that. I think I showed you that at the start. That's a PCI expansion card for USB. It's a USB 2. You get four extra ports and that, that, that costs you well not something that you want to go out and buy every day but that, that was about fifteen dollars for that so it's just for if you want a deluxe system I'd get one of those but you know if you don't want to spend the big dollars you don't have to we've got the motherboard in place and it lines up we have all the sockets lined up ready to, to put our holding screws in place This motherboard is screwed in all the way to the proper brass holding thingos that I put in before. So now all we have to do is connect up power and the front connections. Now this is the front. Can you see that that's the front of the system? Don't don't mind the cords flopping about in the breeze. And then there's a satchel of um, absorbent stuff in there. That's to help to absorb things. Now before we get too excited we're going to install the USB PCI which is that card I was showing you. It's a PCI card it goes into the PCI slot. I've got two PCI slots on this motherboard. They're down there. They, you can put this wherever you like. I'm I'm thinking I might one day want to put another sound card into this system because I do a bit of music. You've got these clips that can undo. They all. It's a bit. I mean, a bit. I'm going to put this at the bottom, and when you undo that clip at the back there, this this metal cover comes off. And you can then you can fit your extra PCI device on your computer. You can only go in one way obviously um, you need those USB ports facing out and you see my finger goes through there so I've taken that metal cover off you can put it in and it, it fits in no dramas to get that clip out of the way just push it don't use excessive force it should it should go straight in no worries and then that plastic clip goes back to where it was and that holds the card in place and I've just installed four USB ports into my new system the next thing is graphics card now 